So the new version of Arnold has some nice shading improvements and I'm going to show them in, in this video. So the first one is a new way of doing subsurface scattering. We now have this new attribute called subsurface type. By default it's set to diffusion, which is the previous behavior to remain compatible. And we can switch it to random walk. So random walk uh, is a new, much more physically accurate uh, way of doing subsurface scattering. It's called this way because it's going to send rays inside the surface. They'll be bouncing randomly until they leave the surface. It's a bit like what we do for volumes and it's much more physically accurate and you can notice it in the results I'm going to show you. So here in this scene, I had a snapshots folder which was set in the render view. So by just reopening the scene, I can immediately inspect the snapshots. I'm starting with a small radius, 0 0.1. And with a small radius, there's almost no difference. That's the old diffusion. That's the new random walk. But even there, if we zoom in detailed areas, we can see that's the old one, new one. The new one has already much more contrast. It's even more noticeable if we visualize the SSS AOV because we can now inspect snapshots AOVs. And that's the old one, that's the new one. It has more contrast, we can notice it. And in the random walk mode, there is an attribute, an isotropy, a bit like as we have for volumes. And if I set it to 0 0.6, that's what I get. It's, it's interesting, it gives lots of details. It looks shiny and quite realistic. Let's show the beauty. Okay, that's the new one with an isotropy and that's the diffusion, the old diffusion one. So now let's increase the radius to a value of one because the higher the radius, the biggest the difference. So that's the old diffusion mode and that's the new one. So we can see the, the, the thin areas become desaturated. We have nice variations of coloration. It looks really shiny and it's, it's much better than, than this. If we increase it even more to quite high value, five. So that's the old one and that's the new mode. It, it looks like, you know, frosted glass, whereas the old one, the diffusion doesn't really work very well, very, very well. And if we visualize just the SSS, just the subsurface AOV already has lots of details, whereas the old one was quite, quite flat. And what's even better is that this is faster to render than this. Even though it's more physically accurate, with high radius like that, it's faster to render than, than the diffusion mode. Let's open another scene uh, here. So this dragon uh, has SSS. And in this scene, I have a non-homogen radius. So it means that the, the radius of attenuation of the subsurface scattering is quite different for uh, red, green, and blue, and it gives interesting colorations. So that's the old diffusion mode, and that's the new one. You can see that it becomes uh, orange and yellow in these thin areas, whereas the old one is quite, quite flat, actually. If I uh, now put a homogen color, and let's render. Okay, so yeah, we can see that we can have nice results. We can start, we start to have desaturation here in the thin areas. And uh, yeah, it gives quite nice, quite nice results. Uh, so the other uh, shading improvement is the new shader uh, for car paint. So let's assign a car paint shader. So here we go. Uh, so yeah, by default, it's a uh, red paint. So this is a new shader, uh, which has lots of controls, which are specifically designed for uh, car painting. We have flakes, some view dependent controls, specular coat, and you can already start by uh, setting some presets. We have blue car paint, uh, metallic blue with flakes, uh, brown. So yes, it's a, it's a shader which is quite nice, again, designed specially for, for car paints, and we're quite happy about it. So yeah, that's all for all the shading improvements.